Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. If you're new to our channel, my name is Larry. I'm Cassie. And we've been on a journey for two and a half years to lose weight, get healthy, and feel better eating the carnivore diet. So far, we're down, well, we're approaching 200 pounds. Heck yeah. And we're feeling good. Real good. Today we got something so simple for you that's going to level up your steaks and make them delicious each and every time you cook one. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. And seriously, this will turn any steak into amazing. Anybody can do this. It's just one extra step that takes a few more minutes and it is 100% worth it. And who did you learn this from? You. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna kick off today's video with a little mental clarity trivia. What's the only fish that true caviar comes from? Is it A, salmon, B, trout, C, sturgeon, or D, whitefish. As always, gang, no Googling. Put your answer down in the comments and we'll let you know here in a few minutes if you were right. While Larry and I get everything prepped, we'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Elements. Elements, a delicious electrolyte drink mix that's got everything you need and nothing you don't. We're talking no sugar, no colorings, no gluten, no fillers, basically, no BS. Elements formulated to help anyone on a low carb diet with their electrolyte needs. They did the science for us and each individual pack contains 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Recently, one of our subscribers, Angie, reached out to us and said she had ordered Elements, but she didn't realize it had a little stevie in it and she's allergic to it. So she contacted Elements customer service and they told her, go ahead and keep the product, give it to your friends. And they immediately gave her a full refund. But that's not the kicker. To Angie's surprise, a few days later, a box of raw, unflavored Elements arrived at her door with a note saying, this doesn't have stevie in it, hope you enjoy. <laughs> now that is customer service. The best. Right. As always, Elements offering our viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight free single serving packets with any Element order. And we absolutely love this offer. It gives you an opportunity to try each and every one of them before placing your next order. So get yours today using our link down below at drinkelement.com forward slash carnivore quest. This is the perfect opportunity to get the quality electrolytes you need and support our channel at the same time. So head on down to drinklmnt.com forward slash carnivore quest and get yours today. And don't forget about that customer service. Just ask Angie. Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. We also want to give a big thank you to each and every one of you who have chosen to use our Carnivore Quest link for your element. It's a huge deal for Means Cassie so and I. Much to us. Thank you very much. To show you how awesome this way of cooking a steak is, let me take you back to when Sean White had lost 100 pounds and he came over to the house. He sat down for an interview. The day has finally arrived. I'm caffeinated up and ready to go. I'm meeting with a man who needs no introduction in the Carnivore Quest universe, Mr. Sean White. I decided to meet at the butcher shop after visiting the library last week and reading the WWWA's publication, How to Interview a Warrior. It states, and I quote, warning, do not attempt to interview a warrior who's hungry. Feed beef to subject immediately before conducting the interview. I took the warning seriously and made plans with my wife Cassie ahead of time to pick out a couple of choice ribeyes. Five minutes after arriving, Sean showed up. It was like meeting an old friend for the first time. It was time to head home so I could cook up these ribeyes and feed this warrior. Cassie had picked out two fine ribeyes. I'm getting nervous. This man's looking hungry. I decided to make the ribeyes carnivore quest style. Let's we'll see what the warrior thinks. Yep, I think he's ready to talk. He was blown away by that steak. And then he went on to lose another 160 pounds, transforming into the guy you all know 
as the intentional carnivore. Now, a couple weeks ago, Cassie and I visited Sean and his wife, Beth, at their house. Sean cooked us up a few steaks, and guess what? He's still using this method, and Sean has cooked each and every steak he's eaten to this day that same way. Oh, how can you go wrong? Yeah, right? You guys start cooking your steak this way, maybe you'll lose 265 pounds. That's impossible! Yeah! All right, guys, y'all know Cassie does most of the recipes here on the channel. Once in a while, I jump in and get my hands dirty, but I want to highlight today how easy this is. So, you know, <laughs> the kitchen novice is going to show you how it's done. We got a couple nice ribeyes here that little Larry brought home from the butcher shop. We only use this method for a steak that's three quarters inch thick or more. These are about one inch maybe one and a quarter inch. They're pretty thick. Now, best practice is always pull your steaks out of the refrigerator about an hour before you're going to cook them. Uh, get the chill of that refrigeration off of it and get it more of an even temp. That's really important if these were going to go directly on the grill. With this method, it's not quite as important, but Cassie and I still do it. First, we're going to salt these bad boys up, let it snow. Cassie's saying I'm putting too much salt, so I'll get some up. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Salty. Now we're gonna preheat our oven at 250 degrees and get these on a baking sheet. All right, the oven's ready to go at 250 degrees. Uh, we are gonna pop these bad boys in. Now we will be checking it with a thermometer. Our wireless thermometer is on the fritz, so we're using the old school one. But we're highlighting this for those of you who prefer to use the thermometer. Cassie and I have done this method so many times, we usually just wing it. Like this will usually take 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll pull them out. But we'll see exactly how long it takes with this. We want these to at 120 degrees at turtle temp because when Cassie and I cut into them, we want them to be rested temperature of 130 to 135. So let's see if we can nail it. So I am absolutely starving. I have not eaten today. This will probably be my only meal of the day. It's a big ribeye. Did you eat anything today? I did, but I'm absolutely starving too. <laughs> What'd you have? I had a couple burger patties and an egg. That's right. That's right. Those leftover burger patties. Mm -hmm. That's one cool thing about the carnivore diet. You don't have much food that goes to waste. You remember how much food we used to throw away? So much. Eating the standard American crap diet. I mean, we, we were wasteful. Carnivore diet, we really don't waste anything. Mm -hmm. For those of you who know this cooking method, you probably guess it's a reverse sear. And a lot of people know about it, but a lot of people don't. Um, Sean White didn't. <laughs> I didn't when Cassie first taught me. And it's so simple and it's absolutely, it'll knock your steak out of the park. I was going to say it's delicious, but I, you need something better than that. When the temperature on that thermometer reaches about 115 degrees, we will start heating up the grill. And that's the method we usually use is on the grill. But you can also use the cast iron. So tonight... I'm going to do mine on the cast iron and Cassie's going to use the grill just to highlight both methods uh, since we got two beautiful steaks. Absolutely. All right, guys, Cassie's going to check them out. And let's see what the temp is. Let's see what we got. What are we working with here? Mm. All right, looking good. That's about right where we want it. 118. Yep. Pan, screaming hot. <laughs> As Cassie's favorite saying. Mm. It's gonna what, get smoky. What do you think, about 90 seconds on each side? Yeah, just a few minutes just to give it a good sear. All right. Oh, that looks good. It mm. smells awesome. So hungry. Voila. Oh, yeah. This is how we usually do it, gang. So. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, finished product. Ooh, let's take them in and cut them up. Manja. All right, baby, let's see what's up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so hungry. How many times have I said that? Oh, my. Look at that, you guys. You will not get that cooking a steak, you know, the conventional way. Oh, it's evenly cooked all the way through. That's going to be perfect. Mm, my mouth is watering. Oh, oh, my. 
I think that's the best one we've ever cooked. <laughs> that's pretty good. Nailed it. Now the grilled steak. Oh, oh man. Indeed. Look at that. Yeah. This one's a little more well done, just because it's thinner. It was a little thinner, but yeah. It's still gonna be delicious. It, I'll tell you, it doesn't look too well done. It looks perfect. Look at all that fat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yummy, yummy. For my tummy. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Here. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. There's a reason Mr. Sean White eats every steak like this. Cassie and I are about to go grub out on these steaks, but before we let you guys go, I've got to give you the answer to today's carnivore diet mental clarity trivia question. And what is the only fish that true caviar comes from? Well, the answer was C, sturgeon. All right, we're not going to torture you guys eating these steaks in front of you, uh, but let us know in the comments also. Have you guys ever reverse seared a steak? Our son Cody, the butcher, he does it the opposite way. He'll sear both sides and then he'll pop it in the oven. Uh, and Cassie will use the cast iron in the oven and then sear it on both sides afterwards. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but... They're both delicious. Yeah, any way you do it, if you nail that kind of color and that tenderness, and you know, and this turns, you know, the cheapest grocery store steak you could find into something really good. You know, like I said, it's just got to be like a three quarters of an inch thick and uh, then it's worth all the trouble. So really appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Later. Check out this next video. There's nothing else like it on YouTube where I count down the top 10 meals for Dr. Barry's BBBE challenge.